Okay, what we're going to do today is uh, test a new device that we got here. Uh, courtesy K7SS, Dan over West Seattle, uh, brought us a bulb. We thought it was a bulb. It's uh, RCA Radiotron UV886. Uh, we looked it up as some sort of a regulator. Uh, John K6IR thinks it's got iron wire in there, which has some sort of a constant current properties when it gets the temperature. And by golly, I think he's right. So I built a little test jig here. They labeled it RCA UV886. Got a little socket. I drilled a hole with a hole saw, took a Dremel tool, and tried to uh, cut threads in there. This is what they call a mogul base thread, pretty big. So uh, I cleaned the base up real nice and the bulb. And so let me thread this in here. And it's kind of a makeshift socket. And then we're going to turn it on and talk about it and see uh, see how she works so uh, I think I got her screwed in all the way so what I have here is a Variac uh, plugged into the wall uh, I first tested this all with uh, some DC here when John was still here but I figured out that it really is a uh, 2 amp regulator and eh, my feet are falling off here uh, yeah, there she goes no feet uh, anyway it's a 2 amp regulator and uh, so what we have is I have the Variac uh, hooked to a, uh, a full wave rectifier bridge. I didn't need to do that. The device will work on AC. Just turns out to be that the amp meter I have is a DC amp meter. Uh, I do have AC volts here, which all of us read DC as well. So what we got here is the Variac going into the full wave bridge. Full wave bridge goes right across uh, the device, the RCA UV886. Uh, but it does it through the uh, the current meter. So the output of the rectifier bridge goes through the current meter and through the bulb. And we're going to watch current. And then this volt meter that I uh, scalvinged out of something is right across the device. So that volt meter is it's right across the device. So we will see the voltage drop across the bulb or the regulator. And we'll be able to monitor the current through it. So that's the, uh, the plan. So we're going to turn the Variac on. Bink. And no smoke yet. Rectifier bridge out of the way. We got the bulb in there. Um, and we're going to start turning it up, see if it starts drawing current. And by golly, look at that, folks. It's drawing current. And uh, and look how much. Oh, and here's our voltage, right? So look at the voltage swing. And look how constant the current is right around 2 amps. It doesn't seem to move much. So uh, you'll see the filament. If it's really iron wire, it actually starts to glow and they wave a little bit. But it starts regulating way before that. So <clears throat> if we trust this meter, I think we can. So there's 40 volts, 30 volts, 40 volts. So right about 50 volts. And it says 60 there, so 40 volts. We're almost at 2 amps here. I think this meter reads a little low, what I remember when I was using it in the lab. And we're all already starting to draw some color here on the filament. One thing, excuse me, I will say is even when this thing is not lit up, it is generating buku heat. That iron, even when it's not lit, or not when it's not dull red, it is producing a ton of heat. I mean, it's like a big radiant heater here. Uh, but anyway, let's run this up. So, uh, close to two amps. There's 50 volts here, right? So let's go up to 60 volts. Just about two amps. And two amps right on the money there. So that's... Uh, what are we at there? There's 50, 60, 70, 80 volts. We're up to 80 volts and 2 amps. So it's it's pretty solid. It's pretty good regulation. 50 volts, 80 volts, 2 amps. In fact, I can jack it all the way up. Oops, let's go no more than about 110, 115. Uh, Variax humming up a storm. A little bit over 2 amps. Not much. So uh, you see the filaments moving. And boy, I'm telling you. It is generating some heat. So, whoop, I think I just blew it up. Did I blow it up? I uh, see one side of the filaments going. Yeah, I think I did. So, well, I blew one side of the filament. So, so yeah, I don't think it's meant to take that much. So, 2 amps. I think it does say 2 amps. So, there it is, 100 volts. It's still regulating about 2 amps with only half of the uh, filaments going. So, I think I uh, blew it up. Oh, that's too bad. Uh... But anyway, that's kind of how it works, but you'll see how much heat it produces. Uh, 600 degrees of some spots of it. 
it gets boo cool hot 640 degrees so yeah I, I guess i should have went shouldn't have went so far up with voltage uh, but anyway it does work even though it's half gone it's still half working so uh, i can see the break in the the iron wire right there so okay note to self keep it uh keep it under 100 so there you go folks